Today, we're taking you on a journey through Ghana's rich history of infrastructure development and showcasing some impressive ongoing projects that are shaping the country's landscape. From towering skyscrapers to intricate bridges, futuristic airports, and magnificent sports stadiums, Ghana's construction industry is at the forefront of innovation and creativity. But the story of impressive construction in Ghana goes back many years. Fast forward to today, and Ghana's construction industry is as vibrant as ever. The country is home to a diverse range of mega-projects, including the Pokwase Interchange, the Tima Motorway Expansion, and the Eastern Railway Line, to name just a few. Get ready for an exciting and interactive experience as we showcase these awe-inspiring projects, highlighting the challenges faced by engineers and construction teams, and the innovative solutions they've used to overcome them. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for joining us. If you are new to this channel, do well to like and share the video, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our future videos. Number 10, The Independent Square. Black Star Square, also known as Independent Square, is a public square in Accra, Ghana, bordered by the Accra Sports Stadium and the Kwame Krumah Memorial Park. The square often hosts the annual independence celebrations as well as other national events and is the site for all civic and military parades and other national gatherings. It was completed in 1961, in time for the state visit of Queen Elizabeth II to Ghana. This public square is one of the world's biggest. Black Star Square is a site for Ghana's Independence Day Parade, which falls on the 6th of March every year. In the Independence Square are stands that can seat 30,000 people. The square boasts three monuments that encapsulate the fight for independence and liberation. This includes the Independence Arch, the Liberation Day Monument, and the Black Star Gate, also known as the Black Star Monument. A statue of a soldier facing the Independence Arch symbolizes the Ghanaians who lost their lives fighting for Ghana's independence. Number 9, the University of Ghana Medical Center. It is an ultramodern medical center offering world-class quaternary-level health services in Ghana, West Africa, and beyond. It is magnificently nestled on the southernmost tip of the University of Ghana, the country's premier university located in Legan, Accra, and about 10 minutes away from the Katoka International Airport. The center seeks to embody the spirit of hospitality that Ghana is globally acclaimed for and is focused on delivering an excellent and unparalleled patient experience through the deployment of a customer-obsessed approach throughout every facet of its operations. This project is said to have been constructed for an estimated cost of $217 million. Number 8, Balgatanga Road Project. The project is the upgrade of the Balgatanga Bakapulmakam Road in the northern corridor of Ghana. The rehabilitation of the road is designed to help increase road safety and trade and stimulate economic and social development and to further integrate the Upper East and the northern regions of Ghana, as well as to potentially benefit the neighboring countries. The road is approximately 109 kilometers long, stretching from Balgatanga through Baku to Pumakam. The project is said to be executed at an estimated cost of 127 million euros being agreed upon by both the Ghanaian and Brazilian contractors who are said to be in charge of the project. The project will include the rehabilitation of the existing road, the construction of an additional bypass at Baku, construction of three new bridges parallel to the existing bridges near the towns of Balgatanga, Tilly, and Zabila. Number 7, Western Rail Line slash Takarati, Kumasi Railway Line Project. This is an ongoing project for the rehabilitation of the 339-kilometer railway line from the Takarati port, in the western region of Ghana to Kumasi, in the southern region, with a branch line from Dunkwa to Aweso. The project, the value of which is approximately $1 billion, involves the renovation of a total of 38 stations along with two terminals and other facilities as well as over 200 bridges and culverts. State-of-the-art telecommunication and signaling will also be put in place along with the reconstruction of the workshops and running sheds among other facilities. Ghana Railway Development Authority (GRDA) is in charge of the rehabilitation of the railway line, which is key to the haulage of agricultural produce and minerals from the Middle Belt to Takarati Port. It is also home to key bauxite mines, which are the bedrock of the country's integrated bauxite aluminum master plan. Number 6, Kita Port Project. Ghana is planning to construct a third commercial port in Kedah to boost African continental trade. The port project aims to accommodate containerized, bulk, and oil and gas shipments and will be developed in four phases with an estimated cost of $600 million for the first phase. 
The government intends to attract private investors to partner with the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority GPHA, for implementation. The project will include the development of a port city with road and rail infrastructure, residential areas, and recreational facilities. Number 5, Kotoko Airport. With the opening of an ultramodern new terminal, Ghana is pushing the boundaries of the continent's airport infrastructure evolution and vying to become a leading regional aviation hub for West Africa. Kotoka International Airports, Kia, New Terminal 3, totaling around 45,000 square meters, has been designed to process 5 million passengers per year. Operated by Ghana Airports Company Limited, GACL, Kotoka International Airport is the country's primary international airport, located 9 kilometers to the north of Accra. Focused on providing solutions driven by quality, safety, and functionality, designers worked on the concept design development, from the concept stage to the detailed design stages. Katoka's expansion, including the rehabilitation of Terminal 2 and the newly opened Terminal 3, is part of the Ghana shared growth and development agenda. The new Terminal 3 was awarded an optimum level of service rating by IATA, which assesses among others whether an airport is offering satisfactory passenger waiting times and adequate space, and if the infrastructure is optimized for current operations and future growth. Number 4, Marine Drive Accra Tourism Project. This is a 241-hectare redevelopment plan for Accra's waterfront that stretches from Independence Square to the coastline, culminating in a coastal overlook with broad, dramatic scenery across the Gulf of Guinea, into a new public infrastructure that features commercial, exhibition centers, offices, a beach soccer pitch, recreational, and retail facilities. The project which is estimated to cost about 1.2 billion US dollars is developed by Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture and is projected to provide about 15,000 jobs upon completion in 2027. It is designed by AJ Associates, an award-winning architectural and design firm with studios in Accra, London, and New York. The main aim of the project is to leverage the tourism sector as a transformative economic entity for the West African countries and people's benefit. Number 3, Apollonia City Development Project. Apollonia City is a new $250 million city under development on a 2,325-acre piece of land located approximately 20 kilometers east of Accra, between the towns of Oyabi and Afinia, in the greater Accra metropolitan area. Featuring a place to live, work, shop, entertainment, relaxation, and much more, all in a well-designed natural setting with the highest infrastructural standards, the project is quickly becoming the destination of choice for enterprises and people seeking a healthier environment outside of Accra's congested city borders. It is developed by Rendever, Africa's largest city developer with over 30,000 acres of visionary projects in the growth trajectories of major cities in Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo is developing Apollonia City. Number 2, National Cathedral of Ghana in Accra. The National Cathedral of Ghana is a planned interdenominational Christian cathedral scheduled to be built in Accra, the nation's capital, as part of Ghana's 60th anniversary celebration. The design for the cathedral was unveiled by the President of Ghana, Nana Akufoado, in March 2018. Situated on a 14-acre landscaped plot adjacent to OSU Cemetery in Accra, the Ghana National Cathedral Project will comprise several chapels, a baptistry, a music school, a choir rehearsal, a grand central hall, as well as a two-level auditorium with 5,000 seats. A 2022 article in Bloomberg News noted that the cathedral's original price tag of $100 million had quadrupled amid record inflation and the devaluation of Sadie in 2022. In addition, the new National Cathedral of Ghana will also have an art gallery, a shop, multi-use spaces, and Africa's first Bible museum and documentation center. It will also be linked to the capital city's most prominent landmarks, such as the Independence Square, OSU Cemetery, State House, and Africa Unity Circle, via a new ceremonial route and landscape. Number 1, Ghana International Trade Fair Center Redevelopment Project. This project seeks to convert the current 140-hectare Ghana International Trade Fair Center site into a new modern mixed-use smart, green, and sustainable commercial estate. The project is set to be carried out in phases, the first of which will focus on the development of the convention center and exhibition halls for the World Economic Forum in Africa. 
facilities such as luxury hotels, high-end malls, and other residential and commercial developments will be included in Phase 2 of the Ghana International Trade Fair Center Redevelopment Project. This new destination will also house a technological hub that will serve as a commercial, research, and high-end manufacturing center to support the government's industrialization drive into the 21st century, as well as a made-in-Ghana trade hub that will help small and medium-scale enterprises. The government of Ghana is said to have allocated $2 billion for this project. The center will provide an estimated 10,000 jobs including 3,000 direct jobs and 7,000 indirect ones throughout the value chain. These are just a few of the many mega-projects that are currently underway or concluded concluding our list of 10 mega-projects in Ghana. Thank you for watching to the end. Please do well to leave a review and comment on what you think about this video. Until next time, stay safe.